A lot of you have learned how to edit video so you can post content onto your own YouTube channel. But do you know how to do an L cut? Or how about a J cut? Have you ever used either of these before and would you recognize them if you saw them? Well, guess what? You just saw both of them. And I'm going to explain exactly what they are, how to master both L cuts and J cuts, and how you can use both in your next video to keep viewers watching. Hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell to be part of the conversation. So the most common video editing scenarios are A, having one long piece of video footage that you need to edit down, or B, having many short pieces of footage that you need to edit together to create your final video. In both cases, the trick is being able to translate transition between all of your cuts to make your video flow seamlessly and keep the viewer engaged. Major motion pictures can teach us a lot about making our own videos more compelling by using these simple editing techniques and the first one I'm going to show you is how to do an L cut. To help you understand, think of each small piece of footage you're editing together as an equal sign. Why? Because each piece of video footage is comprised of two parts, the video and the audio. In almost all video editing software, the video comprises the upper layer of that equal sign. The audio is usually placed below it, in time and of equal length, the equal sign. The first thing that most editors learn to do is to trim each piece of footage, finding the right spot to end the first clip and begin the next clip and stick them together. But in an L cut, we stop thinking about the video and the audio needing to end at the same time. They don't. In my opening sequence, I asked if you knew how to do an L cut and I transitioned into a different piece of footage before I finished completing that sentence. In a sense, my equal sign was shorter at the top, the video portion, than it was at the bottom, the audio portion. Instead of being a perfect equal sign, it looked more like an L. Get it? L cuts are great for creating a sense of urgency. They can visually move the story forward without having to wait for the clip to end and then move on to the next clip. Quick comparison. Here are the two clips from the beginning of this video just stacked one after another. But do you know how to do an L cut? And here are those two clips using an L cut. But do you know how to do an L cut? See how that makes your brain follow the narration even though the image changed before the audio was complete? There are lots of ways for you to use this in your video production to amp up even the most simple of videos. You can create a world of emotion just by allowing the audio track from one clip to play underneath and through the transition of the next clip. The twin brother or sister, shout out to the ladies, of the L cut is the J cut. I bet a lot of you can already guess where this one's going. The J cut is where we take that equal sign and begin the audio of the next clip before we've introduced the video portion of it. Again, starting the audio portion first makes that equal sign look more like a J, hence the name J cut. Now this one creates a different emotion. It allows the video track to linger visually which can create a sense of continuance or interaction. Let me show you better examples of how I've already used these on my channel. Take a listen to my interaction with Brian G. Johnson on our collaboration. You're the one who told me to amplify my message. I, I, I just need a few minutes. You know exactly what kind of edit that was, right? I was still waving my arms around when Brian began his next line. The audio from the second clip began running underneath the first. And that J cut allowed it to seem like Brian and I were actually having a real conversation. Even though those clips were filmed at completely different times and completely different locations. Another example from one of my videos is where I was working on my motorcycle and I ended the scene by riding my Harley away. In the meantime, I had used Facebook Messenger to reach out to- Did you hear the motorcycle continue to drive off as the next video clip started? I bet you totally caught that and now immediately recognize that as an L cut. It really helped weave those scenes together and help it feel like one continuous story instead of a lot of little parts just stacked one after another. Now I created both of these using the editing software Filmora, but you can do this with almost any video editing software. I personally use Filmora because of its affordability, its really low CPU usage, and its ability to provide quality editing without the huge price tag or the need for a really expensive computer. I'll be covering Filmora more in the upcoming weeks 
weeks. But now that you know what these two edits look like, try watching some of your favorite films and keep an eye out for them. Once you're aware of them, they are so easy to spot. You'll drive your friends crazy saying, L cut, J cut, another L cut, J cut. There are many more tricks and techniques just like this that can really push your content up to the next level. And I'll be covering all of these in the upcoming weeks. But until then, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell, and I promise you, we'll continue this conversation. Peace.